Welcome! In front of me is a OnePlus 8 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. And we're gonna begin straight off the bat with probably the best one in my opinion, which is the customization option. Now, this is fairly stuck Android, but OnePlus has its little flair that they add things that we want and they don't actually remove stuff, which, thank God. Um, I personally hate when different or skins of Android uh, think that hey we're all gonna add something but we're gonna take away uh, something else that uh, we think you don't want um, so in here uh, you don't have that and everything actually the overall the oxygen OS is one of my most favorite ones and for obvious reason so let's go to up, um, customization and in here we have every part of the customization neatly organized so number one you have everything uh, lock screen related on top uh, wallpapers clock styles fingerprint uh, animations horizon lighting which is just the uh, notification kind of lighting uh, and then below also you have uh, accent colors tones uh, system icons uh, and icon packs and right here you can go through all of them and just change it around to whatever you want um, you can we'll see automatically a little animation right here that will give you a visual feedback on how it will look like but honestly here are the more important ones in my opinion so number one you have tones uh, that is also how you change it to dark mode uh, so by default it's set to light you can set it to colorful uh, but colorful uh, makes it well kind of awkwardly not colorful honestly and also remove some of the customization for instance like accent colors um, which is a shame so we're gonna go to dark mode uh, which will make it even darker as you can see and but i already changed it up a little bit before um, so that's why it's already red but as you can see you can change the colors the accent colors and those are the accent colors like the uh, check marks uh, the text and settings um, and you can immediately see how it looks like also the sliders right here and I personally like the red one it just looks really nice in my opinion uh, the black and red so that's what I'm gonna stick stick with and then below we have the system icons and that refers to these icons right here so apart from the fact that they're uh, right now reddish you can also change the shape of it so you can go with squarish uh, these these ones are like rounded corners and whatever you choose and just tap on the check mark and bam now it's square with round corners uh, and then you have icon packs now by default here you have only two one uh, two of them those are the one pluses one so you have hydrogen and oxygen uh, personally i like the oxygen so that's what i'm going to keep but you can tap on it and immediately see how it will look like with the other one and if you have some downloaded ones uh, from play store they will also be visible right here and you can tap on them and immediately also see the difference in that and yeah so this is the customization part of the phone now moving on we're gonna go into the quick gestures um which if you went uh, blasted through the setup of the device and by mistake for instance you uh, stuck with the gesture navigation you can actually uh, change that back so if you're not a fan of gesture navigations which in my opinion they're really well done on here you can change them by going into the home screen or display and from here i believe it was uh where is it oh wait no my bad uh, it's buttons and gestures there we go buttons and gestures uh, then you have the uh, navigation bar and gestures and you just have to check this one on uh, back home and resend uh, as you can see now we have the typical buttons on the bottom um, so that's how you would get them back now i'm gonna switch back to this i just kind of prefer this more so yeah um now going back another thing that i wanted to show um is one of the better parts of this device um which is the 90 hertz display and unfortunately you will not get to see this on the camera the camera is only recording at 60 and youtube doesn't support anything higher so the only way you can experience this is if you switch it on yourself 
let's go into the settings and from here under the display advanced you will find the refresh rate switch it to 90 and now everything will be running smoother uh, this will just increase how many frames are displayed on the screen every second so by default you get 90 frames imagine a slideshow just a really fast slideshow and normally you get uh, normally get 60 slides per second with this now you get 90 and this does in increase how smooth the scrolling feels and how uh, the text looks like during scrolling and how quick it looks it, it it's a nice experience in my opinion and just feels really nice the device also seems like it's running faster because of it which is actually not the case but it uh, has that effect so moving on we're gonna go into uh, icon manager which allows you to remove notifications from here uh, and notifications like, like the toggle icons so if you for instance run with bluetooth always enabled and for instance localization and fc uh, just enabled it that will be visible usually right here so you can disable them from showing here because for the most part uh, if you're a competent human being you probably know what is enabled on your device especially when you pull down the notification panel you get a, a glimpse on all the red check marks right here so we can go into settings to disable this and then under display we're gonna go into where is it status oops i wanted to go to status bar there we go and then you have icon manager and right here you have all the toggles that can turn off um, now you could turn off basically everything and remove uh, make it completely clean if you wanted to uh, along with even the clock um, so let me just show you so now notifications do still hold i have two of them uh, which i don't really feel like removing so yeah that's kind of how you remove most of them uh, now i was actually wrong you cannot remove everything uh, there is no setting for clock um, so you cannot remove that and there is also no setting for the battery so uh, in this case you are still stuck with the clock and battery if you wanted to remove that uh, it looks like you can't but everything else is a fair game uh, it can be gone and while still being enabled in here and you normally can still toggle it on and off from here just not going to be visible in the status bar and the last thing that I want to show is for those people that like to play games. Um, so you have the game space right here, this app. And uh, it's a fairly handy app, honestly. Uh, it looks like it's one of the uh, better ones. So when you go into it, you have a couple things that you can enable. So you have fanatic mode. Um, you can just got it. So when you enable this, it will reduce the battery. Keep that in mind. So you probably want to have it plugged in. Uh, but it does include uh, increase the CPU optimization, GPU optimization, uh, RAM, um, advanced uh, do not disturb mode. So it will turn on do not disturb mode so you don't get notifications when you're gaming. Uh, and, and basically increases the performance of the games by uh, boosting the CPU and the GPU. It looks like it directs a network primarily to the game itself if it needs it. And uh, enhanced process uh, regularly. So. It does a couple of different things on here. So this is kind of for like gaming, hardcore gaming. I uh, also have right here graphic optimizations. If you check that on, get a little message right here. So improves the shadow uh, details and enhances overall gaming graphics. Uh, not really sure how it actually does it, um, but it does something, I guess, and along with the processor, just tries to increase the visual fidelity of whatever you're playing and you do have to launch the games from here for this to work and yeah now here we have additional settings so uh, this is a fun one hide game space so uh, when enable game space will not appear on the home screen and draw but can still be accessed in settings utility uh, actually this is not necessarily what i would be looking for um, as, uh, i would expect that there is also a way for you to hide applications as most of them do have such an option um, also another thing that i will point out uh, normally your games will be visible right here uh, if it doesn't recognize it automatically you can tap uh, here and add it manually so you would just for instance add something like this cool add it and there we go there is one app now now this isn't the game but it can be affected now by uh, all these uh, settings here so yeah 
So this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share with you. And if you found any of them helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.